So I want to talk about a topic here in this vlog, a topic that I always talk about always with friends, family, clients, on social media, anyone I talk to whenever we talk about goals or achieving anything in life and that's consistency. And I say it a lot but I want to reiterate it in this because it's so important. Consistency will get you anything, good and bad, you know, it's rarely in life there's one big dramatic event get you where you want to go. So let's say you want to lose weight or you want to lose body fat and get really lean and ripped. You know, one or two workouts is not going to do that. Or eating healthy, eating the right amount of food for your body isn't going to do that if you just do it for one or two days or even just a week. It's the, you know, it's the momentum from doing it time and time again. Consistent small steps every single day that builds up that big result, yeah? So, and that works for anything in life. If you, if you think about it, a relationship, you know, you can't just be nice to a person one day to have a good relationship. You have to be, you know, put effort in again and again and again to keep that relationship healthy, keep that relationship solid. To get an education, you can't just go and, you know, just do one day of studying and then get a degree. It's going to be months and years and all that time studying and, and handing in projects and working on different parts of of that degree that makes up you achieving that goal. And if you think about it, it's everything in life. Being consistent is gonna get you there. And a lot of the time, people don't wanna be consistent because it's hard, right? It's hard to stay motivated. It's hard to get up day after day and do the same thing. But it's a necessary, it's a necessary evil if you don't like it, but it's a necessary to get where you wanna go. And you just have to be consistent. Writing a book, is scary. If you think about taking on a book, right, and you've got to write a book, whether it's, you know, fact or fiction, you're not going to write it in one day, are you? You're going to do maybe a few pages a day or, or a chapter a week. But again, being consistent with it will add up over time and that will become the book. Right? Rome wasn't built in a day. And I know it seems, sounds cheesy and I know that we hear all these sayings all the time, but it's true. If you're saving money again, you're not going to save a crazy amount of money in a week or maybe even a month, but you keep putting money away month after month, year after year, and you have a sizable chunk. So consistency will get you there. Of course, there are other factors. You need to have some knowledge. You need to be going in the right direction. I mean, you can be consistent and go in the wrong direction and you're going to get the opposite of the results you want, right? If you consistently overeat, if you consistently eat in a calorie surplus, you're going to be storing weight, you're going to be storing body fat. So you need to, number one, find out the goal that you want. Yeah, think about it, talk about it, and take action towards it. But that action needs to be heading in the right direction, obviously. Eating a calorie surplus and trying to lose body fat isn't congruent. That's not going to work. If you consistently eat a calorie surplus, you're consistently going to store body fat. Let's say your goal was to lose body fat, get lean, then you have to consistently eat in the calorie deficit day after day, week after week, month after month. Now, it doesn't mean you can never not be in a, in a deficit. You can have the day, odd day off or the odd weekend off. As long as you're in that calorie deficit the majority of the time, you're gonna be making gains, making gains in fat loss, which is what we want. We want progress, we want consistent progression. But you have to have that consistency. And without consistency, if you put in mediocre effort, you're gonna get mediocre results. Just like my, just, just, just say working with me, whether, you, whether you're a face-to-face -face client or an online client, if you pay me and get my program and do no work whatsoever and don't move your ass off the sofa, you're gonna get zero results, simple as that. If you pay me and I'm training you, again, you do my online program and you're putting in mediocre results, right? So you're working out sometimes, you're tracking macros sometimes, other times you're not. You're gonna get mediocre results, maybe you know, a small amount of results. But if you pay me and then you are consistent, you're consistent 90% of the time, you're tracking macros the majority of the time, you're hitting three to four workouts a week, you're doing what you can. You might not be perfect, you might miss the odd workout, you might miss the odd day or two of tracking macros, but you're being consistent the majority of the time over an extended period, six, eight, 12 weeks, you're going to see results because you're putting the effort in and you're being consistent. And 
sometimes motivation is not going to be there all the time, you know, but you, you have to do the things that you don't enjoy sometimes to get results. If you don't, you go around in circles, you go around in cycles, and these are negative cycles because you get motivated, you try and start a goal, motivation dies, you don't do it much, and then you go back to feeling bad, and you go around in these cycles. So you need to have the goal in mind, you need to know what you want to do, but you need to be consistent, you need to keep trying. And if something's not working out, of course, you need to reassess the game plan, you need to change, change it up and go back to the drawing table, but you need to try something for at least, in my opinion, eight, 10, 12 weeks at least, to see, okay, is this working, is this not working? You'll see in, in, in a few weeks of any program or anything, if you're getting, you know, you're making some progress, we need to see progress, but to see dramatic changes, you need to stay the course and you need to be consistent. Without consistency, you are just jumping from thing to thing and saying it didn't work for me, but you wouldn't know unless you stuck with it. So if you wanna achieve anything in life, set the goal out, know where you want to get from A to B and then be consistent with it. But if you stop, start, stop, start, A, you're not going to get your results and B, you're never going to know. You might say, oh, it didn't work for me, but how would you know it didn't work if you didn't put the consistent effort in? You're going to have to do things that you don't want to sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you're not going to feel like going to the gym. Sometimes you're not going to feel like tracking macros. Sometimes you're not going to feel like being positive, but you're going to have to do it to get the results. It'll be worth it in the long run. If everything was easy, if everything was perfect, if everything was handed to you on a plate, life would be boring. We need the contrast. We need the hard times to support the good times. So I'm going to keep saying it again, consistency, baby keep doing it, keep going after that goal day after day, week after week, and you will see progress and you will achieve that goal.